People around the world are keeping up with the devastation in Hawaii, including a suburban man who wanted to do more than watch. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live with a story on his journey, which begins tonight. Jermont? Joe, when most people saw the destruction left behind by those wildfires burning in Maui, they thought, how sad. But one southwest suburban man thought, I need to do something. And tonight, he's heading to Maui to do just that. I've uh, deployed uh, several times for hurricanes. Yet this will be Paul Bamman's first time dealing with anything like what's going on in Maui. I've never been uh, uh, boots on the ground after a wildfire. But none of it matters when you have compassion in your heart. The one commonality with all of them is that there's people hurting right now that, that need help. And that's what the Red Cross is all about, is helping. Bamman and his wife started volunteering for the Red Cross five years ago. When the couple awoke Thursday morning to learn more people died and saw the devastation spreading. We actually went on to the Red Cross website and updated our uh, availability this morning. And uh, within an hour, I had gotten a call from uh, the, the local uh, recruiter to ask me if I'd be willing to go to Hawaii. Bamman started packing and will hop on a plane at Midway Friday morning. Going to get supplies to people in need. It's whether it's water or snacks or uh, shovels or rakes, blankets, you name it. If people need it, uh, the Red Cross is there. And while he prepares for the long flight to the island, one thing is on his mind when he arrives. Just help people, help people recover. Now, Bamman tells me he's not worried about his own safety. He trusts that the Red Cross will keep him safe. It's not clear how long he and the other volunteers will be on the island, but he knows one thing. As long as these fires continues to burn, the need is there. Live in the control room tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.